Okay, climateric syndrome, and we open a new uh, chapter and a new age also. <laughs> climateric. Okay, good. Noi tutti eh, sappiamo quale è il profilo ormonale della fase climaterica, perché credo che qualunque medico, qualunque ginecologo, ma medico, anche, strettamente il ginecologo, il primo atto che compie sia quello di chiedere alla paziente di eseguire gli esami del sangue, gli esami per la valutazione del profilo ormonale. So, it's uh, uh, very well known the hormonal profile in these cases and you can observe there is a typical estrogen and progesterone decline and a compensatory increase of FSH, LH, prolactin and ACTH. Abbiamo un'iperattività delle gonadotropine ma anche degli altri ormoni e notiamo degli ormoni APA ok there is an hyperactivity of the gonadotropines but also other um, hormones are upper than physiology like prolactin and ACTH con un decremento ovviamente degli ormoni sessuali per il periodo Atteggiamento terapeutico comune. Forniamo gli estrogeni dall'esterno. Replacement therapy. Exactly. Normally, uh, conventional pharmacology acts through the hormonal replacement therapy. It's very linear. You have low quantity of some hormones that will provide from the external. Un'agenzia è un lavoro di un'agenzia governativa degli Stati Uniti di farmaco, eh, farmacologia e farmacoeconomia. Gli estrogeni sono accompagnati, ma lo leggete in voi meglio di me, da effetti pericolosi a lungo termine. What Maurizio wants to underline is that this is a gover uh, governmental agency from the United States, Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, so it's not an uh, association of homeopaths, okay? They say estrogens are accompanied by potential long-term harms that require consideration. So what homeopaths said many years ago now, even the mainstream medicine is saying the same. Mentre non hanno conseguenze, questo è un riconoscimento, impiego a lungo termine di agenti, di farmaci, di trattamenti non ormonali. Instead we don't observe any uh, side effects using non-classical hormonal agents. Eh, mi spiace aver estrapolato solo, ovviamente, due righe, ma il seguito di questa uh, revisione critica, di questo review, serve e eh, io l'ho letta ehm, a sostenere l'utilizzo di terapie alternative lo dicono quasi apertamente questa è un'agenzia governativa uh, Maurizio is saying I couldn't write all the paper but believe me says Maurizio in this uh, governmental agency paper they say that it's preferable to refer to complementary alternative medicine to treat climateric symptomatology. Yeah. That's something is changing in the world, really. Yeah, I think it's 2015, so it's very updated. Io non so se hanno questa loro mela dispensa perché forse l'ho inserita dopo. If you don't have this paper, this is the reference and we can provide the full text. Lascerò la mia mail a chiunque volesse eh, una versione più integrale delle diapositive eh, potrà ottenerla. Maurizio will give uh, all of you 
uh, his email address so you have just to email him and he will send to you everything you need and an extend, extension of the slides. It was a bit different uh, this um, version from... Okay. La medicina fisiologica di regolazione, questo nuovo paradigma, questo nuovo strumento, attraverso l'uso di farmaci non dose, ci permette, appunto, anche in questo caso, di agire a livelli differenti. E precisamente col bilanciamento delle variazioni neuro endocrine per stimolare più che offrire una semplice terapia sostitutiva. Maurizio says that we have a different approach. Instead of a hormonal replacement therapy, we can offer a physiological stimulating hormonal therapy. Instead of replacement, physiological stimulating therapy. Questo è l'approccio secondo la nostra visione della medicina fisiologica di regolazione. Drenaggio, scegliendo tra i due preparati quello che più è consono alla sintomatologia come abbiamo della paziente, come abbiamo descritto prima. This is our complex and complete approach according to the triangle. Once again, remember the importance of the drainage and today we learned that uh, in, gyneco in gynecology we can consider matrix and lympho. Lympho especially when you want to act on mucosal tissues and serosa tissue. Otherwise matrix. Matrix is very interesting also for the present of DHEA. So, as doctors, according to the personal picture of the patient, you will prefer one or the other. E soprattutto a seconda dei sintomi presentati, io consiglio nelle fasi acute l'info, nelle situazioni croniche, cioè come eh, farma, eh, intervento farmacologico di base, matrix. Uh, another type to differentiate lympho and matrix in gynecology uh, in acute lympho in chronic treatment matrix. Una fem, che conosciamo, direi in maniera ormai completa. Una fem for the TNPI rebalancing. E qui entriamo nella scelta di un, fa, di un ormone di supporto e qui è, è, è libero di intervenire il medico, di scegliere il medico a seconda del quadro clinico della paziente. And this is the highest expression, the single low dose hormones uh, use is the highest expression of the concept of tailored medicine. Tailored medicine. You will use a single hormones according to the hormonal dosage of Mrs. Mary or Mrs. Han and so on. That's the heart of medicine. Yeah, okay. That is not a science, it's an art. <laughs> Since Maurizio knows very well also very well also homeopathy is speaking also according to the constitution of the patient. For uh, those of you who know uh, this type of uh, constitutionalism. May I ask then if you are and using if I may ask if you are using homeopathic constitutional medicine, for example CPR, yeah. CPR will, 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 will this interfere with that or will CPR interfere with this? No. 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 Because they work in a very precise way. CPR is a constitutional uh, yes, yes. remedy, so it sustains the vital force. High potency. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, no interfere. Absolutely. No, 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 no. Synergistically. Maybe using the diatesic or constitutional remedy 
the single hormones will work even better yeah. because yeah. you will recover the vital force using Hahnemann's words, that is to recover the homeostasis. Yeah. Also, and then uh, yeah, what is difficult, Maurizio says, is to find the similium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 the right potency. Exactly, the right potency. What, okay. what, suppose, um, what suppose if there are lots of people who put into menopausal situation because they're on tamoxifen or they've had breast cancer? So ok, I, I, okay. Co, co, cosa ne pensi mm. di utilizzare gli ormoni? È una bellissima domanda. Mm. Gli ormoni, qua, quando una paziente è messa in menopausa terapeutica eh, perché ha un breast cancer? Ok, eh, è un'ottima domanda. Eh, Very good question. Thank you for the, the question. Because when I, eh, quando parlo di disturbi della menopausa, o di menopausa, quando I speak about uh, menop uh, menopausa disorder o menopausa, I, I, I make not difference between uh, the kind of menopausa. Menopausa, uh, all the changes we see before, and if the uh, changes are caused by uh, surgery or uh, ther uh, pharmacologic therapy, the patient is in menopause. Okay. Uh, and you can use. What if their cancer was estrogen yes, receptor yes. positive? No, yeah. You can use. Yes, the question, la, la, la domanda è: se lei è stata messa uh, in menopausa farmacologica è per non spingere con gli estrogeni sui recettori, mi ricordo se beta, eh? e quindi per non rischiare di stimolare il tumore. Con questi ormoni puoi avere un problema nello Sembra stimolare? Di, no. No. Sembra di no. Non possiamo, eh, eh, non abbiamo problemi. Same. Non abbiamo problemi, ma eh, dirò di più. Possono avere un'azione protettiva perché eh, andiamo a pensare alla differenza tra le due. Uh, Maurizio is very sure about that, about their safety, even in those cases, and he's adding not only they are safe, but they can have a protective activity because possono avere un'attività protettiva? Perché la differenza di concentrazione è ehm, per voi agiscono a concentrazione bassissima e stimolano la, la, eh, un giusto rapporto di risposta dei recettori non c'è no, mai un nuovo stimolo uh, the, the fact that they are in physiological low dose make them stimulating the right receptors and not an excess of receptors so he said that both by a theoretical and practical point of view according with his experience no problem mm -hmm. no, but uh, of course uh, prudenzialmente è possibile non dimostrare ovviamente le stradio di serie, ma utilizzerò come ho utilizzato il paziente, just uh, using uh, some patients having the problem uh, of breast cancer, I have, I have uh, some patients. Una FEM and progesterone was an answered uh, protective yeah. action una progestione di uh, six. In, in uh, sometimes if you feel more confident you can also use gunafem plus progesterone to even have a balance with beta estradiol since it's an opposite hormone. Mm -hmm. So you can use if you feel more confident progesterone in those type of concentration. <laughs> Uh, ho aggiunto nella pratica clinica una basis. In, in uh, according with Maurizio's uh, practice, he like to use una basic to alkalinize the tissues. Perché i fenomeni menopausali sono accompagnati da anche nel uomo. Possiamo una acidificazione della matrice. It's all, always important because uh, um, with the uh, proceeding with the age, we have a tendency to acidosis. So, for sure, basic is uh, absolutely interesting.
Extracellular matrix of yeah. those. Alkalinization of the uh, For topical problems. Dyspaurenia. With the uh, channel or matrix mm -hmm. research. Natural due. Uh, per migliorare il trofismo delle mucose negli organi genitali. To ameliorate the trophism of the muco the vaginal mucosa. We use NATU2 where we have beta estradiol in low dose with an internal applica applicator, application, yeah, yes, applicator yes. and uh, once application in the evening every night. It is also interesting in case of dyspaurenia during, uh, uh, during um, intercourse. So. I, I, can, I can tell you that one time we were in uh, we were out of stock with this product and you cannot imagine yeah, the calls we received. Yeah, yeah. So we said, oh my wow. God, everybody tonight. So they, were, they were calling, but I'm not joking, believe me. Please, when we will be again available on the market? Because, uh, I don't know, use something else, some other room. But they love that. And we said, oh, Italians do it. <laughs> That's um, strange, but it's this way. Anyway, this is interesting for the trophism of mucosa. Mucosa. This microbism, anche nelle problematiche nel bulbo vaginiti, successivamente alla terapia, è importante dare after vulvo after the acute phases phase of vulvo vaginitis to restore the integrity of the mucosa injured by the inflammatory processes natural to even in young girl young women it's very appropriate it's not exclusive for menopause eh? even in young women okay Papilloma gyrus. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I have um, a very good friend who is head of otolaryngology in Verona, a very nice town here in Italy. And he told me about the increase of cases, of, um, increased number of cases of HPV in women, but also in men for oral sex and is more, much, much more than we can imagine. So... In Italy, the oropharyngeal cancer due to HPV infection is the third cancer for prevalence. In, in terms of HPV, eh? after, after genital, skin, throat. È estremamente comune nella popolazione generale e il contatto, non stiamo parlando di patologia espressa, ma potenziale contatto, la forma uh, silente, riguarda, secondo questi autori, il 70% delle donne. According to this uh, um, reference, it is a silent epidemia, because more or less 70% of women are affected even though in a silent way by HPV infection. So, they are potential transmitters to a lot of other people. È vero. Potenziale trasmissione. Ma ci dice anche che questo virus può raggiungere un potenziale equilibrio o armistizio col sistema immunitario. But this paper is nice because they say look that this is a danger, but you can find a uh, a ball uh, the you can find a balance between HP virus and immune system. Translated means if you have a good immune system, you can have no problem. It's 
It's not the paper, it's Maurizio saying that. Okay. <laughs> you are not an <laughs> author. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the human species will be done. È un virus molto ragionevole che probabilmente no. <laughs> I don't know how to translate ragionevole. Ok. Ok, perché viene a patti con il sistema immunitario. È un virus che try to find a deal with the immune system to have an immune escape. In other terms, the HPV ask the immune system, don't kill me and I will not give you any disturbance. Okay. <laughs> okay. E quando ci saranno i disturbi? Non vediamo dopo. Eh, questo è quello di cui stavamo parlando adesso. Questi sono i, i ceppi oncogenici a maggior rischio. Um, look that we have a lot of uh, subspecies of uh, HPVs. These are the most dangerous ones. <coughs> e come stavamo dicendo sono in una piccola percentuale di casi e in corso di alcuni anni è possibile lo sviluppo di una uh, neoplasia marina. Thanks God, really thanks God, only in a minority of cases and after many years some people develop uh, the cancer of the cervix. Uh, è stato, sono stati provati dei trattamenti locali ah no, eh, qui stiamo parlando del al di là del, dell della, delle terapie chirurgiche in questi ultimi anni besides surgery eh, in these recent stati, years ovviamente sperimentate delle vie non invasive have been experimented la also other treatments Ovviamente la vaccinazione, che è così, especially vaccines that can, can be bivalent, bivalent or tetravalent. Uh, in Italy they push a lot the vaccination of girls around 12 years old. È stata gratuita uh, fino a 12 anni nelle scuole medie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Italia, you have the same in your same. country? Same? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Quello che stavo dicendo prima, eh, sono stati sperimentati, sono stati utilizzati dei protocolli di terapia locale con interferon gamma eh, a livello della cervice, ovviamente in caso di patologia conformata. Some, uh, some references report, report about the use of local gamma interferon in the cervix. Però si sono registrati numerosi effetti collaterali, ma sai che effetti che, che, che sistemici. Both local and systemic, so this treatment has been abandoned. Sono già state utilizzate delle terapie low dose, secondo i principi della medicina uh, fisiologica di regolazione, nel trattamento delle lesioni l'HPV HPV correlate ovviamente nei ceppi di alto rischio as you can uh, read in these slides in uh, PRM environment uh, we already have developed some experiences in the treatment of HPV related lesions even due to high risk strains such as 18 for instance yes. volevo ricordare questo lavoro prodotto eh, discorso al congresso nazionale di coltoscopia di Roma. This is a, a clinical trial presented at the uh, National Congress of the Italian Society of Colposcopy Colpo. in Rome in 2012 and uh, this is the, uh, the clinical trial design. 40 Okay. With that, with, uh, you can see also 18, 16, check the strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Un caso 12 e un caso intermedio 2-3. Uh, 
okay, it, it is C I N measure the gravity of the, the disease, so they were also in a not good stage. Risultati. Poi vedremo il protocollo. Nel 20, 23 pazienti sono diventate negative dopo un anno. Negative al controllo, eh, non vi era più traccia di lesione e di presenza di virus all'esame eh, all colposcopico e alla ricerca del DNA. So, of uh, 48 women, ok, 23 were negative in terms of lesions and of uh, presence of virus. Eh, trattamento, eh, purtroppo loro non hanno qualche tipo di farmaco, ma è molto interessante perché abbiamo altri lavori eh, clinici, trial clinici, eh, su analoghi come schema di intervento con risultati uguali, forse lievemente okay. migliori. In, in, this, uh, in this case, uh, the treatment was uh, using a, a medication that is not from Guna Laboratory, but uh, we think it's very good, it's from Labolife, it's a French company, and the name of the product is 2L Papi, and is a product that works against the viral reactivation. So it's specific for that. Sulla, esatto, sulla riattivazione virale. So. Il problema dell'HPV, oltre che la prima lesione, è la riattivazione ciclica. Because the problem is the cyclic reactivation of this uh, um, virus. So it's a very interesting product that you can combine with some uh, GUNA medications also. Uh, ovviamente è importante trattare anche il partner. It's important parte. since they are ping pong infection, it's important to treat in the same time also the partner. Anche se mh, come nel 90% dei casi, 80-90% dei casi il maschio risulta sintomatico. 90? 80-90% ah, okay. risulta sintomatico. <coughs> anche con dei romatosi, ma questo è dipende dalla perché nel maschio non si colloca cioè non è facilmente visibile va nelle, ghiandole, nella mucosa delle ghiandole urettali ok in 80-90% of the cases in men it's uh, you don't have any, any evidence eh? it's uh, negative so that's 50% thank you women is that correct? 70% of women are positive and they can develop a cancer Yes, but after treatment for six to eight months, there was 50% that were negative. Yeah. So what about the other 50%? I mean, if you continue the treatment longer, can you do more? or Because 23 of 38 patients were negative. The other can uh, go on with the treatment. Go on, of course. Yeah. Uh, um, they can go on with the treatment. Uh, six, eight, Months. Yeah. yeah, but the, la, la domanda era in quelli che non si sono negativizzate. Negativizzate, questo è un lavoro, non è mio, mm -hmm. è un lavoro presentato appunto alla, a Roma e eh, il cut off era un anno. Il problema è stato il cut off. Eh, It's complicated to explain. Um, non è alla la pubblicazione mh, si fermava a un anno di controllo oh, okay. e quindi portava questi risultati dopo un anno oh, ok uh, only, only it's not only 23 on 38 40, 40. yes but 43 started but uh, they have some dropouts so the treated were 38 no no sorry sorry sorry, sorry. 38 patients sorry, sorry. Not in, uh, In all the patients. Ah, in all the patients. In all the patients. In all the patients, the negativization. And 23, after one year, were still negative. Negative. But 
Perché cosa fa il virus l'HPV? Il virus HPV, oltre che cercare di venire a patti col sistema immunitario, però ne sfrutta le debolezze e le caratteristiche. Ok, uh, it is a, is a virus that is very smart and try to escape the uh, immune system. Esatto. Abbiamo una fascia silente, una fascia di pace, di accordo, sistema immunitario virus. Ok, uh, this is the scheme of homeostasis we spoke about this morning, and in HPV infection we have some uh, changes in the homeostasis of the immune system, especially. Especially when? Without applying. Ci sono altre condizioni. Could that also find Epstein Barr? Uh, do you find also, uh, trovi anche delle infezioni collegate all'Epstein e Barr? In certo, il suo cugino. Yes, because HPV is the causing of EBV. Yeah. Uh, Epstein Barr, yeah. Not only Epstein Barr virus. E qualunque, in qualunque situazione, per qualsiasi motivo, ci sia una variazione del sistema immunitario, dell'equilibrio del sistema immunitario del soggetto. Perché ha perso il lavoro, eh, per un luto in famiglia, qualunque motivo. Every time you have a stress, remember this is something that Maurizio is not saying, but when you have the activation of the HPA axis, the stress axis, you have an hypercortisolemia. Remember that hypercortisolemia for a long time, it means chronic stress, down-regulate TH1. In fact, this is the typical picture of the immune system in patients with HPV infection. Th1 down, down. and Th2 oh. up. If Th2 are working too much, they produce too much of interleukin 10 that is not more good, it's bad. And when it's bad, it's an immune suppressive. And this is something that shows the smartness of the intelligence of the HPV virus to escape the attack of the immune system HPV asks the immune system to produce interleukin 10 to escape yeah. you understand, this is an immune escape induced by the virus so can stay there. absolutely, so he said okay, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> and I stay here questo per ricordare che non ci sono le citochine buone e le citochine cattive, le citochine che fanno male, le citochine, the concentration. Le citochine pro infiammatorie ah, allora sono cattive. Qui abbiamo bisogno di citochine pro infiammatorie. Is it possible to not find Epstein Barr HPV in the blood? In the blood and still have these expression of it? But actually you don't find in the blood, you find the Ig, maybe. Yeah. Or if you don't find the Ig, then mm. you still get that reaction. Eh, you know what, if you don't find the Ig, and the the you can turn the up can be due to other causes. So it's not uh, um, prognostic yeah. for that, no. No, no. 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 You need also to have... The, uh. No, si fa il... Si ricerca di... We must search the... 
DNA in uh, uh, tissue in uh, um, bioptic. Uh, and the most, uh, the, the most important for a right diagnosis is uh, to find DNA. Yeah, poco significativo. Uh, mentre, uh, uh, on the contrary, for um, Epstein-Barr virus, the mm -hmm. um, dosage of the anticorpi is fundamental to regulate the replication. Okay, in, in, instead, it's important the accept, as we were saying before, of uh, IG, IGs for Epstein-Barr virus. Normally, we have five to ten times IgG upper for uh, specific for ABD when you have this type of uh, problem. Anyway, this is the picture of your patient with uh, HPV infat infection. I know. <laughs> In that case, no. Domani io parlerò benissimo dell'interleucina 10, ora però no. Tomorrow uh, Maurizio will speak very well, uh, will we speak about how good is interleukin 10, but in case of HPV, interleukin 10 is bad, it's too high. So immune suppressive. Come in alchimia, cioè chi uccide guarisce. Okay, this is an alchemic uh, <laughs> thought of Maurizio. Questa uh, slide riassume quello che abbiamo considerato fino adesso. Inibizione dell'interferon, blocco dell'attivazione dei natural killer. This is a, an, another very interesting immune mechanism. HPV block your capability to synthesize interferon alpha and beta, not gamma, alpha and beta. These two types of interferons normally enhance, enhance NK activity. So if you block these two interferons, you don't have more NKs. You know, you remember that NKs are killers of cells infected by viruses. That's an escape that HPV does to uh, avoid yeah, the immune system. Exactly. Without regulation, there's an interference. Exactly. So, but we can do something. We have a reassume of this. This is an image that reassume what we have said. Exactly. These, these are the intimate mechanisms that uh, uh, bring the cells of the immune system of a patient with HPV infection producing too much interleukin 10. Quindi, depression, decreasing of TH1, decreasing of TH1 and increasing upregulation of TH2. What to do? What to do? Dobbiamo usare una strategia di immunomodulazione. La parola eh, chiave è modulazione e regolazione. The key word to approach this type of disease and the immune system of these poor patients is immune modulation. And we can do that very well. Noi abbiamo a disposizione gli strumenti. We have the tools to do that. Interleukin 12 and interleukin 2. Migliora, sostiene la risposta che è comune. Since in HPV infection the immune system is depressed in the TH1 side, interleukin 12 is the word that says to the TH1, wake up guys. Why interleukin? Interleukin 2, you remember? Because interleukin 2 is the most a specific interleukin able to make the blastization of TH naive. So you increase all the TH. It's one of the first, phylogenetically speaking. Interleukin 6, usually, you know, is the bastard interleukin. 
but not this time because the bastard is this one in HPV infection. <laughs> and since uh, HPV decreased interferon alpha and beta, we have as GUNA laboratories GUNA interferon alpha, it's important to recover that part. And to recover the NK. That's a really smart therapy, eh? Congratulations. Okay. And we have all. But how long? Ah, okay. Uh, how long? Six, Six months. Month? Six months. Okay. We have here. Okay. From six. Uh, the. The. Questa terapia, this therapy, uh, io direi almeno sei mesi e poi riprenderla un mese ogni tre mesi per un anno, un anno e mezzo. Ok. Ovviamente, scusate, a seconda del quadro clinico. In terms of protocol, all these cytokines, 20 drops twice a day or even better, 40 drops each in a bottle of water to drink during the day, for six months, then, then after the first phase of therapy, six months, one month every three months is okay. For instance, from January to June, then July, August, September, nothing, October, 20 drops twice a day, November, December, January, nothing, February, mm -hmm. yes. okay. According to the clinical picture, of course. According to the clinical picture, you said English. <laughs> ok. Questo è un altro, è un altro protocollo che associa, questo è il protocollo d'assalto. This is the, these are the ne Navy Seals. Ok. <laughs> Possiamo sostenere negli intervalli liberi in, in, in within uh, three months uh, okay. free Citomix. Okay, during the three months you are not providing the single cytokines, you can provide Cytomix that is a multi-component medication, five pellets every week for there is written six months, but actually three months, eh? Okay. And uh, una matrix, perché c'è sempre una <coughs> problematica infiammatoria e o di degenerazione del tessuto uh, connettivo della matrice. E quindi we, we una need terapia <coughs> <per> questo intervento. <coughs> Definitely, yeah. Okay. Posso? Yeah. Osteoporosis, perimenopausal. Finirò per sostenere che anche l'osteoporosi è una patologia infiammatoria. Maurizio will uh, show you that even osteoporosis is an inflammatory disease and we need to treat that as inflammatory disease. Adesso che siamo in confidenza lo posso dire. Now that we are friend he can tell that. <laughs> Come in tutte le cose esiste la patologia, esiste il modo di manifestarsi della patologia. Uh, per questo ho esagerando parlato di malattie infiammatorie perché una patologia può essere più o meno grave come sintomi a seconda delle condizioni di salute del terreno ok uh, we consider the osteoporosis has a, a pathology of a specific tissue but actually he it is an expression of the terrain, of the alterated terrain of the patient. Where for terrain, the homeopathic concept of terrain, we mean the PNEI axis. Sicuramente, nel aging, perdiamo calcio, perdiamo consistenza delle ossa, perdiamo elasticità. 
It's quite physiological during aging to lose calcium and to lose uh, uh, mass in the bone. Ma se abbiamo una matrice in buone condizioni, un metabolismo sufficientemente buono, eh, non abbiamo eccesso di acidità al di là di quella natu naturale e ciclicamente fisiologica e diciamo naturale per l'età. Sicuramente avremo del pauperamento di calcio, diminuzione del, della consistenza ossea, ma non avremo la patologia. But if we are able to keep the patient in a good metabolism asset, um, in uh, controlling the physiological acidosis that increases with the age. And the third one, I don't remember. Uh, oh. Se il paziente sta bene, l'osteoporosi non, non ci sarà, o sarà trascurabile, o sarà naturale. If the patient is the, clo the possible closest to the homeostasis, osteoporosis will not develop even though it's normal to lose bone mass. E quando starà male? Quando si accentueranno le condizioni di infiammazione cronica di basso grado. When this uh, um, fragile equilibrium disappears. When a inflammatory onset appears. Yeah. Ok. Va bene. Queste sono cose um, generali. Some epidemiology, you know very well. È naturale che ci sia un abbassamento del livello degli estrogeni in postmenopausa. E quasi fisiologicamente ci sarà un aumento, come la risposta o come and this is interesting because maybe the starting point is an increase of some uh, of the, the, the starting point is a hormonal decline that um, leads to an increase of interleukin 1, TNF alpha and granulocyte choline stimulating factor and interleukin 6. Plus we have an increase of PTH, parap hormone. So, it's, a, it's really a PNEI disease, eh? It's magic. Low level of estrogen. Low level of estrogens being low are not more able to exert an inhibitory control on parathyroid glands. Since it doesn't exist this control, parathyroid gland produce an excess of parathy parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone alterates the phosphocalcium-magnesium uh, balance, leading to acidosis. Acidosis, uh, our, body, yeah, our body doesn't want acidosis, so immediately he take to control acidosis first through sodium, natrium, and then through calcium. So where do we take calcium from? Più ci infiammiamo, più paghiamo col nostro tesoro di ossa. Già normalmente, anche a 20, a 30 anni, e questo quadro di perdita ossea viene accentuato quando cambiano le condizioni ormonali con il tempo. So, you will, we already know by, from to, to today that uh, with the aging we increase uh, interleukin-6, you remember. Mm -hmm. Until 50 years old, interleukin-6 is very low. After 
50 years it increases even though you don't have any disease which is the problem is that if you have a chronic disease you move the lifespan before so take under control interview king six take matrix and interview king 10 for two months every two three months that's the secret for immortality. <laughs> <laughs> I exaggerate a little. <laughs> Absolutely, interleukin 6. Yeah. We die because of interleukin 6. So. Acidosis is the metabolic condition to increase in the leukin 6, so the problem is here. And 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 L'attività fisica è uno stimolo meccanico per il mantenimento del buon trofismo osseo. Yes. As we become uh, elderly, we move ourselves a uh, little, so lowering the physical activity, we oh, have the consequences. Sì, so. Ma, siccome mi piace, il mondo delle citochine è uno stoporoso in meno pausale. So now it's absolutely accepted that cytokines, cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines, we know in the leukin 6 and TNF alpha, are important in postmenopausal osteoporosis. It's not Maurizio and Alessandro saying that, is uh, the literature said that, saying that. So take a look to the cytokines. E in questo caso l'interrochina 10 torna ad essere buona. Yeah, the solution in those cases where you have interleukin 6, they know very well, is interleukin 10. It's important to treat your patient with postmenopausal osteoporosis also with interleukin 10. Yes, if you don't stop interleukin 6, you always will have a progressive destruction of the bone. That's absolutely crucial. But this is the quadro completo of the therapy. I want to evidence from this quadro the importance of this quadro, visto che So, this is the complete protocol that Maurizio uh, applied to many, many patients in his clinics where he wants to tell you that in this case that's good, eh? that's good, interleukin 10. E l'osteobios, che è un osteobios molto interessante, l'osteobios contiene la calcitonina, fa la tormone, lo sfruttamento del tre calcare. So this is a very complete... Quindi è anche una terapia. Absolutely, this is a very complete scheme because you are recovering the estrogen deficiency. You are acting with calcitonin, that is the opposing hormone of parathyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use the calcitonin as single medication, you have calcitonin in osteobios. And for sure, interleukin 10, because osteoporosis is a low grade chronic inflammatory disease. Ma Maurizio is obsessive with matrix. <laughs> Here is important the matrix. Yeah. The matrix. And in the matrix, there is the bone. No, okay, the bone is the acidification. Absolutely. Posso aggiungere una cosa? In una matrix, you have some substances that stimulate the metalloproteases. Metalloproteases induce the remodeling of the extracellular matrix, and we have extracellular matrix in the bone. So, matrix, besides its activity as a drainant, is a remodeling of the tissue. It's a remodeling medication for the tissue. Perfect. 
in osteoporosis. And why Bunabasic, Maurizio? Bunabasic per la acidificazione. It's really very complete. It's nice, right? Calcitonine, una calcitonine in uso singolo, come dicevi tu, se... In some cases, of course, since your medicine will be a tailored medicine, in some cases, you already have calcitonin in osteobios. But if you want to enhance the activity of osteobios, you can also provide the single calcitonin. Uh, in your experience, how long, uh, per quanto tempo devono prendere? How long do they have to take these medications together? Io uh, consiglio uh, da un anno o due anni consecutivamente. Maurizio suggests you to uh, make your patient under treatment for one, two years consecutively. Oh. Long, long, long time. All of your videos, se vogliamo alternare, all of your videos o questa coppia. Uh, is sometime okay uh, after the approach to the disease with the complete um, protocol Maurizio suggests to that you can go you can keep on going on just with osteobios so would you um, like if you're treating somebody else for osteoporosis with medicine you would be checking their DEXA scan Yes. Two years. So would you dexa scan these people to see how they're doing? Uh, how, is, how, is he, how is he monitoring? Yeah, no. With, with, yeah. with, 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 with the with the monitoring with the with the the ionic calcium. Calcium. Not total. Okay. okay. But with the mosca. Okay. With the see, computerized. Uh, uh, Bone densitometry, we, we call mouth. Like reading, reading the Zeta score. Okay, every one year, two years, three years? Uh, no, meno di due anni. Every, no, prima di due anni. Every two years. Every and, two years. But and, also and more. As you get older, of course, the tendency is to mm. get more. So, so, I mean, they could be on this for 20 years, wouldn't yeah. they? Loro possono anche essere sotto terapia a questo punto per 20 anni, perché iniziano a 50. Sì, è possibile. 10 anni, terapiamente 10 anni. Poi, in funzione dei dati clinici, nel function of um, clinical picture, uh, calcium, uh, mock, uh, uh, mock uh, uh, bond densitometry, you can choose an interval of... Uh, a very good experience has been performed <coughs> by a professor from Bologna named Riva okay. San Severino. And uh, uh, maybe you have this is okay. the paper. And uh, he, after the attack therapy, that is uh, that one uh, Maurizio uh, showed to you, he um, go on just with osteobios for years. I mean, maybe there is uh, some pictures. Okay. okay, seven years, every day, 20 drops. By the day of osteobios only. Terapia, ter, uh, osteobios therapy. Seven years of therapy. Uh, increasing of uh, bone density. density. The red is the color of osteobios, patient uh, treated, treated uh, with osteobios. And uh, after seven years, you can see the increase. The green is conventional therapy. The false positive. Questi sono, come diceva Rio San Severino, uh, osservazioni durante uh, circa 18 anni, uh, qualcosa come 15.000 pazienti. Uh, no, 1253. 1253 patients in 18 years. So, is the big and uh, uh, for long time treatment. Big, big number of patients also. So it's nice after six months of uh, uh, attack therapy this way because at the beginning you can also work on the estrogen's production. 
after when the patient will be 75. Does it make sense? No. Or estradiolo and calcitonin. <coughs> or chitin with this couple of uh, osteobios. And we will tell us that may be given interval. Interleukin 10 after the first six months of attack, <coughs> two months every two, three months. And osteobios every day for years and years and years. Okay. Okay. I think that we can stop because it's 6 o'clock mm -hmm. and tomorrow we go on with the other scheme and especially with the really beautiful experience that Dr. Passafaro had performed um, uh, in the field of infertility and really we are happy to share with you this experience because we can help a lot of women to realize their dream and you face this uh, problem every day in your clinic. So we are very, very proud to speak tomorrow about that. Okay, so tomorrow the second part. Thank you very much.